Welcome, Champlainers, to Overwatch Playoffs 1. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm Luxie Josh, and I'm joined with... Uh, Jake Omega. And that's, this is Jake's first time on the desk today. This is uh, We kind of scrapped together a ragtag team of uh, casters. The, I mean, I'm excited. Jake and I have been friends for a long time, <laughs> so this is, this is going to be great. Um, I actually used to be on the Overwatch team freshman year. Yeah. Yeah, the varsity level team when Ooh. COVID was happening, so when everything COVID? was online. Oh, okay. So I got I got some before, I got some before uh, we us on Val uh, before Val team. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I used to be main tanks a lot, so um, I got some I got some tank knowledge and I got some high level insight to to hopefully give today. And Jake will be uh, shout casting. So hopefully I do a not terrible job at that. Um, I think I you're good at talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we're up against uh, Carlton Ravens today. I haven't done any scouting myself. Like I said, this is a pretty um, impromptu kind of swap up today. Um, so we'll just have to play it as it goes. But I'm expecting a pretty good game today. Yeah, I think we'll see. You know, I expect our team to win. But of course, Champlain always win. Do you know our team? We got a stacked lineup. You know, I know Kevin Lank O W. I I know. Oh yeah. I don't mark you, Yo Davis. My girl, my roommate, my my man. I, <laughs> I also I, I met Zach as well first time today. Well, not first yeah, time, but like Zach officially met Zach today. I've okay. seen him around. Okay, okay. He seems like a pretty cool guy. And then uh, who else is on there? Champ Esports. We have Champ Esports is now playing. They've graduated from spectator um, to player, which is pretty good. Whoa, that's a joke, by the way. Um, and then John Haas, of course. John Playa, the GOAT. See, I expect the Champ Esports account to be, you know, top 500 ranked. Oh, of course. That was always a bit we wanted to happen. Make, like, the Valorant Champ yeah, Esports I think account, I, like, immortal. I think that we should just take the account and just make it scary. <laughs> and every Give game. it to the best players we have in each Splatoon, game. Splatoon, whatever Splatoon top 500. Like, S+. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how the ranking system works. Overwatch... Top 500, at least top 50. Yeah. No, that'd Valorant, be. Valorant, gotta put in a radiant. That's a really good Give bet, it, actually. Hand it off. No, that's really Get good. The... Maintaining that's gonna be a pain. No, but no. But like. Not in Val. There's, there's no I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's right, no rank decay. Uh, I haven't touched that game in forever. That's so crazy. Capstone's been Lucky. taking up my life. So. Um, but yeah, maybe. I think we're starting on Circuit. Yeah, Circuit Royale. Maybe that's I don't know. That, I, don't, I have no idea if that's true, but like, that's a pretty right. good map. So, what do you think the comp's gonna look like? I don't know. I know the Roadhog um, rework just went through. Yeah, Roadhog, he's got like yeah. a trap now, and he's got a, his breathers on like a like a, it's a so meter. Fast. I've played a couple games Overwatch since the patch dropped. It's it's like if you're not doing enough damage output, you're just not killing him ever. Yeah, and it's like primary fire is like crazy now. I'm gonna miss the right click personally. One, There's no right click anymore. No, it's just all that. one. It's all oh, you've combined okay. the shots to like a a medium range. Well, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a it's a take and trade really. So like, it's really it's interesting. A trap, which I really haven't understood how that works. It, it hasn't really done much. It slows you down a decent bit, I think. But yeah, it's like the damage is minimal, uh, and it you know something I don't know is whether or not that damage is actually divided between the people within the trap or if it's you know a set damage per person yeah i think it's like well, as long as you're in the trap damage you'll get damage and slowed and then his his like primary fire the only fire now it's still like projectile mm -hmm. and it still travels at the same time there's just like there's yeah. like a ring around yeah. it and there's I mean, three I mean, bigger trust me i would stop i think i'd stop playing the game if roadhog became hit scan so <laughs> that would be awful um but yeah I, I don't know i'm interested to see if someone will pull it out today um, maybe we won't see anything because Hog has been not good for a while because you can just get like yeah, Andy, know, Anna, Antony but support's also got nerfed like quite considerably yeah. lots of like yeah. immortality and like get Trust out for jail free cards I might be low I might be low level but they're definitely easier to kill for me so. <laughs> yeah I mean this has been a support dominant meta for a little bit so we'll see just, it has 30 def DPS to all damage in the trap and the trap is like at least four Roadhogs long, mm. maybe maybe three and a half. Okay, but it's it's an interesting change for sure. So we'll see yeah, how that I I, goes. I do wonder what Mark is comfortable on. I know that he is a very competent you know racking ball player. 
I've seen him play. I saw him playing Ryan today in Instagram. Ryan, warm-ups, really? So I'm mm. expecting that. Okay. Um, I've never seen him play Ryan, I don't think. So. Never? No, no, he's a, he's a great Ryan. I love watching. I don't know, about, I don't know I, what it compares I love, to my Ryan. Hart. I love watching his ro- wrecking ball gameplay. Mm. Very enjoyable. He looks, seems like the most annoying tank <laughs> as a wrecking ball. It's yeah. so great. I love it. We're loading the boost on here. Um, I don't know if this is just a tech test or what, but this could be this could be match time. We'll see. Let's see how it's going. Um, yeah, no one's locking in yet, but we're just we're just kind of chilling. Yeah, right? I. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yes. I do love Busan. Busan. Played enough. Uh, play any concert clash? Nah, I I played the uh, the K-pop uh, La Seraphim game mode a little bit with with that, uh with Yu-Yo. That that's pretty that's, fun. Is that not concert clash? Is that concert clash? I'm pretty sure that's concert clash. Then yes, I played concert okay. clash. I didn't yeah. know.
the same target anymore. There's like a second cooldown. So you can't is spam it. Is it a second cooldown or is it just the fact? Well, second cooldown per so character. Like when it falls off, it's just you can't add it again? Yeah. Really? And But there's like a longer... Is that out of sight? Like it, it stays on them when you're out of sight longer. So it's a little, it's a weird balancing change. Does Overwatch have a system to like show that to the, like is that pr like oh, I'm sure. given to the users? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cause I've I've never noticed it. Well, it's a very recent change. Um, oh. Nice. At least I think it's in the game now. Maybe it was an experimental. Like I said, I've. Played. I have played. You know, Trent comes out. Huge Trent from Blank. And giving us enough turns to kill the Ana, and that that Ana pick is massive. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, they have swapped off of the the Junker Queen for the Winston. I guess they just really? didn't feel like they had enough range to work with. Junker Queen's still a little too slow in such a so big they're map. Giving up their what feel? They definitely seemed like they had a good damage advantage, but I guess. Oh, we got tech, oh, we got tech pause here. Uh, don't know what it's called. What it caused it? It's called by uh, by our team. So something something's going on. But a uh, little break. I'm just. What I like is that Mark Yuyo has not swapped off ball at all. He's confident, and he has forced that's, like that's an amazing thing about Mark. I think he As swapped person, two hero he's swaps confident the other and he knows his abilities. He is confident. That and is one word get, I would use for Mark. For he me. will get things done. <laughs> Gets it done. Oh, we're on pausing. We're going back in the game. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Tech pause on Overwatch I've ever seen. Good, good job, tech work. Wh whoever, whatever the problem was, that was fixed fast. Um, maybe someone spilled a drink. I don't even know. Um, go back into it. Champlain, up in, up in numbers here. Nobody should have spilled a drink. We don't allow food and drink into our space. That's true. That's true. Big slam. Oh, big slam. Oh, honest. Oh, oh, he's oh, alive. We get him. That's my boy, you. That's my boy. Mark is definitely going to be cautious of popping his ult, especially with the, uh... Big stick from Yeti. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Take care of him. Getting overtime Lang here. is backing up. Oh, and this, the Yeti's tracers went crazy. They're giving it to him. They're giving it to him. That's it. Okay. That's okay. It's okay. We got monkey ult okay. out. Yeah. Uh, looking at each ult economy. We got it's four, almost five ults coming up. It's interesting that... Their tank went after Lank, who was so far back with his ult of all things. So now they just don't have that for the next fight. Well, uh, the, the fight was already won, so they were just kind of, you know, reaping yeah, the benefits. But, but if you look, they have, they they happen to have Ana um, ult. So it's like, what are they gonna do with that if their tank? We get a pick on the Winston. Hello, when did that happen? The freest overtime for Champlain I've ever seen. And that's a C9. <laughs> there we go. Sure. Good job, Champlain. I hardly even noticed that that round was was gonna be. What are they gonna do without a tank? And if that tank doesn't have an alt to combo yeah. with the, you know, Ana. I Whoa. guess they just caught the monkey out after a jump and and tore him down. So good call from Yui, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're going to map to round three here. See, uh, the Ryan comes bat, out. A bath switch from what? Yeah. Ryan Bap Frig, I'm liking it. But this is scary. I mean, oh, the May Bastion Sigma is really annoying to deal with. Like with Ryan, you really have to pay your player corners. You always have to play your corners. But if you get caught out by Maywall, your health bar is gone. So Mark's really, Yui has really got to be aware of that. I believe in Mark to have higher value than a Sigma. <laughs> I hope so. We got the, we got a good Bap. Okay, you see Jack taking first contact to support. That's interesting. Yep, Raven already on the back foot. They get the wall out. A really oh bad God. wall, and that Marin's supposed to go in. pushing them in. That's right. Champlain said, go back to spawn. I don't think Raven were expecting the, the Ryan. Oh, oh, that's not good. You know he's gone down. That's going to be true. We lost the main, main damage force of our uh, DPS there, <laughs> but Marco's in. Oh, what a charge. Lord. And we get the we get the first point is hard point too. Oh, the bash is oh. still up. Good wall, Cosmo. Block it off. And yeah. Oh, Joey's back. Yeah, we're, we we swapped for swapped the bash. I, I agree with that. Suppressing fire. I'm looking. <laughs> we now got a a mirror, except for the their only difference is Sigma versus Brian. Uh oh. Oh, oh Joey's and again, again losing our bash first. 
Yeah. That back window really turned the tables on Champlain really fast. Well, Champlain just needs to, you know, stack on the Rhine. I don't think there's a lot of stacking on the Rhine going on. Or maybe there is, yeah, but... Yeah, I get... That, that definitely seems like a down... That seems like a disadvantage with the Rhine is the fact that the shield is stuck in one place because it's with the player that it's on rather than a Sigma who would just kind of... Yeah, exactly. ...throw it to a distance. Oh. Oh. What a weird sequence of events. We got, <laughs> we got Bastion ulted, and then that the main wall a, cut us zero off. Zero value ult out of their Bastion. Um, I would not say that. I think that was a quite a good ult, actually. I mean, it stalled them. But... Well, they, the way they cut... Champlain got cut in two there. I don't know if you noticed that. But the Ryan and the Bastion were... were in the May were stuck in front of the wall. And then the Bap got stuck behind the wall, so they just got killed for free. Uh, okay. So they had to reset yep, off yep. the Bap kill alone. So... Champlain coming up, getting right past to that, that Baptiste wall. Ult's coming out and everywhere. What getting put down is the mail. Oh, but huge. The man. lank immortal field to keep everyone alive goes crazy. But they're still gonna have to reset. Yeah. And it's just the sim swapping out as well. There's so much shield damage and just like focused target damage on the Ryan. It's hard for Champlain to even get out of the doors. This is my least favorite of the three maps on Boost Mode. It's very choke heavy. It's it's so closed in. I but don't... there's a chance for a big slam from from Yuyo here. The TP onto the high ground here, getting on the point, getting the point pressure, and yeah, we're just holding that. Be big slam, getting oh my two God. members. Oh, what was that? Amos down, gets the Bastion pick. That is massive. A Bastion pick normally results in a round win. What a flick on the timing. rock! Yuyo with the fire strike is going crazy. Oh my Mike god! Is care of... Wow. I mean, that Ryan Rhine... just got cleared up. Shout out to Yu Yu. That Ryan shield placement was insane. Good stuff, my man. Yeah, we got the we got the hype coming up. Everyone knows that was a good play. <laughs> and um, this sim, I really like the sim. They, they knew they're getting caught out in the choke. So why not just avoid the choke entirely by TPing around it? I, yeah, I really like that call. Champlain get, trying to get in there again. Oh, lose the Lucio first. That's oh, not no. great. You have to win this fight now or it's over. Yeah. Oh, Joey's almost gone too. That's not good. You can deny a little bit with the May, May wall and stuff. But Champlain just oh, give oh. the point and then Oh no! Reset. Hello. I... Not the envir accidental environmental kill. Well, it was definitely purposeful that he fell off, but he could have died on point. But it's okay. It's all right. Champlain, we don't need that. I mean, either way, it was That's not great. Uh, we kind of split it up here. Got, got it in my wall. Close it down. Really close here. Now in the overtime. Ult's coming out again. Oh, Mark, Mark barely escapes the, Mark. the mail, but the rest of his team gets stuck in it. No, he got stuck in it. Barely. Oh, and burning down the other tank, and oh, this thing was. Oh, oh, that's big. That's huge. Bash is still up, though. What's coming out? Oh no! Whoa. The camera's crazy. Um, Bastion gets one one pick. And Jay managed to die and so three low. for two. That's crazy. Oh, and Yuyo somehow pulling it together with Mark the May. My go. We don't need we don't need supports. We don't need supports in this house. We just kill them anyway. We have so much shield Swing health, so much wall hammer health. Hammer very big. Yes. Good stuff. And looking at Ultigon, Champlain's even up in Ultigon. Mark's only almost off for another shatter here. We're in a pretty good spot to win the tip close out this this round here. Lank is about to have his win there. Oh, too. but we're at it. Big slam gets some of the team members, forces out Emo, but we're gonna lose Leo in the process. Oh no! That could spell disaster. And then on release, pull it to OT. And just yep, Champlain's gonna fall out here. Oh, really tough round. They get picked one by one. That is not great. <laughs> and that map will go to Char Carlton. The Ravens. Wow, what a action-packed control point that was. And just, I think the, what's what, what else to play this game here? Oh, a, a Zen play? Oh, from our side. Mr. Lank? Oh yeah, where's the, the, the pick on the, yeah, the Bash. Uh, okay. Uh. Like the Zen play was working really well. Oh, not the wow. catch on the Lucio. Nah, that, was, that was good. Good stuff, Link. And it's it's tough. 
because I think Champlain definitely could have secured that final point. We had the sh we had the ultimate cooldowns. Mark was set setting up for like a flank shatter. But yeah, I think it's really unfortunate that we lost Mark at that key time where they were all grouped up and pushing out. Because yeah. the second he went down, there's just no stopping force because the DPS needs to stay behind the tank. But if the tank can't keep them at the choke because he's dead, yeah, you know. Well, I think it's a combination. One one as they did. It's definitely a combination of. Yuio not being aware of where his DPS players are and his DPS players not being capable of sticking on the Rhine as hard as they could. Because mm -hmm. in, the, in the fights that they won, the Mei and the Rhine were always on top of each other. Even yeah. when there was a time where they had no supports left and they killed like, what, three people with just the Rhine shield and the Mei utility by themselves. So if Champlain can just perfect that art, I think they can close out the series. But again, control is different. We have a few other game modes we're going to be seeing. So... The gameplay might change, but that's just my quick analysis. Mm -hmm. Ravens with a really, really tight, just diff like offensive line, honestly. Really, really good at like separating Champlain at the at the choke and getting those those really quick kills. I wonder what our next map is going to be. I wonder. I wonder if we're going to see more Mark on Ball. Oh, I'm I'm almost certain. Almost certain, she. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see the ball. We're gonna see him ball him out, as they as they as young and say. Um, yeah. Shout out to the booth. Look at this guy. The booth back on screen. This guy. Look at this Champlain hat. It's so cool. I love Champlain hats. Jake, what's your favorite piece of Champlain apparel? Current favorite piece of Champlain apparel. Mm -hmm. Probably. And it's gonna sound. Are we are we counting? What, anything what do you of all time. Def, what do you define? Anything that we sell. Any, just anything that you can wear. Anything that we can. That wear. has Champlain branding. My favorite is. Oh, that's a tough one. You see, this is not product placement because it's taking a long time for Jake to answer this question. Yeah, well, like, <laughs> I have a lot of apparel from the school, so I'm like trying to like catalog. The last time I wore it and how much I enjoyed wearing it. Yeah. But I mean, I'm gonna, probably going to have to go with just the jerseys in general. The because, jerseys you know, are iconic. For sure. I, 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 you, you know, wear them enough. Yeah. You know, they're, you see them the most. So That's true. And it looks like we are... customized to you as a player. So That's right. You have the you have the Omega on the back of that one, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's, there's nothing cooler than having your own jersey. Um, but it looks like we're going to be going to Blizzard Worlds here. Going to a little bit of a hybrid. Oh, world. Blizzard World. I was so happy when they unveiled this map. It's just really cool. You know, any kind of game it's that like all forms the nice a universe. Aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know? it's the nice like continuity of like the company and like just all their games coming to get like it's so nice. Yeah. I love it. I, I love slide. every I love every little homage. Every balloon and pop. The every balloon pop. <laughs> <laughs> I love destroying the tavern. Sure like there's been a bar fight, you know? Yeah. That's such an interesting, like, thing to do. Just, like, destroying whatever in, the, like, the set of time. It's so Overwatch. I don't know. I love it. But we got, uh, we got Yu on the ball. Oh, we're seeing Crocs on the monkey. out of Joey. That is hmm. interesting. I mean, yeah, this is a really long sight line of these first choke points. That, that is true. That is true. We almost got a headshot You, on you the, see, you on see Yeti switch. from uh, Carlton on uh, the Widow, so. Yep. But he's immediately switched to Echo. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> they immediately decided to switch from long range in the first three seconds to um, close. Power driver comes down. Slams two. But the cooldowns come out. Oh. oh, good poop from the on the, oh. the monkey. Oh, I thought Lank was a goner there for a second. Yeah, and the echo here. Oh, gets picked. Probably gonna get res though. Um, but Champlain up in numbers. Champlain now even in numbers. Res comes Yo out. Is holding oh, ro out. rolls through and gets the sojourn. Oh god. The res comes out on the. Yeah, oh, and we win the tank battle. So this is a. Calls and tank. It's probably a Champlain dub. But um, I believe. not able to kill the Echo Mercy. That's just ah. The Mercy's so far back there. So so the high job. up in the That's sky. That's a job for Joey. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I w it's just confusing because one of our players' name is Mercy. So if I say Mercy, yeah, if you then say we're... Mercy, like, are, are we talking? Are we talking about the Mercy on the field, or are we talking about the Mercy the character? Player? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so. Thanks, Champlain. But um, gamer tag. So I'm fighting on the back confusing. line here. The Champlain support line is keeping themselves up well, but the banana comes out oh. from Monkey, and yeah, that will tear us apart. just been asleep for what feels like a decade. Yeah. Oh my god. He's almost just the right way. Oh, I don't know if Champlain will be able him. to fight here, but yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, so it's over. First time, go. It's I mean, not a terrible me, first roll. It's crazy to me the map knowledge of all of the, the health kits from... Oh, if you're ball, you gotta know where every health kit is. You have to. It's it's very I I understand. It's, it's so important to being able to you know get out of a fight, get heals real quick. Yeah. Because you're not moved by your team at that point. I need to know where they are to you know reset yourself. That's true. And right now we're seeing a pile driver okay. and old coming out from from Mark. Gets that kill in the mercy. Huge kill in the oh mercy. Oh my gosh. Mercy kill is so big here. That just shuts down the echo entirely almost. Um, and allows for a lot of spectra kills on the Ana and whatever. My Have question you. is, did they want to hold it this early in the push? Hold what? Hold the payload. Win the fight? It's so close. It's so close to cause and spawn at this point. Oh, yeah. No, this... It doesn't really matter where you win the fight. Because, like, the way the spawns in the chokeholds map... In this map works, is like... a you can hold wherever, especially with how mobile your account Champlain has. But anyway, a little old fight coming out. Looks like Ravens will be taking oh, this looks one. Looks like Joey got caught out there before we switched over to Jack, who's putting in some good work. Oh my God! Sticking yeah, together with Joey. Up right now. Yeah, you relax, relax. Coming in, attempting. As far as Champlain sticking with the Hanzo here, like it's it's hard to log an Echo who's just so mobile. Mobile. And Wank yeah, there we is go. hiding in the shadows, supporting Yu Yo. This is interesting. <laughs> Buffing the Hanzo out for the for the Echo. We got a we got an Echo duel here. We pop the trank just to hold up point off that the... much longer. Yeah, I guess so. Yu Yo gets on the mercy. He tries to get something, but just not enough damage coming out from Champlain. We're gonna fall again. Raven's starting to kind of roll here, kind of breathe through that second one, despite losing that first round. And I think the Mercy Echo is just so hard to shut down. Especially with a Brig. Like, Brig Zen, only one of them can really shoot at them at a time. And the Brig, yeah. When I start seeing a team get a roll, I just get so anxious. I'm not even, I'm not even the one playing. <laughs> it's just, it's a terrible feeling. But I do think just that knowing, Champlain needs to make some Knowing something swaps. is wrong, but not knowing what that thing is. It's just the worst. Yeah. And sometimes it's gameplay. Can sometimes... only imagine. Can only imagine. You know. Yeah. Oh well. You are getting kind of destroyed there. I can only imagine <laughs> what. I, I can only imagine what our, our the, the Overwatch coach is thinking right now. You know. John Player. John Player. Holding his head in his hands. Oh, lots of damage on the monkey. Yeah, forces out primal. Hopefully we don't see any. So anything. much space being made from Ravens. Yeah, Ravens. Uh, Crotics here. And again, just not letting go on the gas from Crotics here, just keeping the old pressure up. Oh, Marcus switched off a ball in. Yeah, he's got to defend his back line a little more. They're going to have to hold this for the next three minutes without... Wow. Terrible death, but we already see Cosmo going down. Okay, oh, we got the, we got the monkey on. Oh, but that is a short-lived ult. It does create a little bit of space for Champlain, Joey. though. We can get a little bit of stuff to work with, but a huge anti-nade taking down our break. Thanks, got the trank up for anything. Okay. On the back line, oh, okay. on the auto, forces the peel. And yeah, all of Champlain is... fall to the Sojourn also. Just that, it's, just, it's a matter of when, not if at this point for Champlain. See so, yeah, when they're gonna fight, they're gonna lose this. They are 34. Oh, yeah. I mean, two, two minutes is not a, it's like a, it's a good time bank, but nothing Champlain can't come back from. Just needed to uh, just needs to push it faster. I think a little talking from John Flair could could hype him up here. Let's see what uh see if Champlain decides to swap things out for the second half here. But that was a that was that was just brutal. Yeah, that was kind of a that was kind of a walk for Carl. I hate to say it, but 
I really hope that we see something either explosive or just like dominating oriented from Champlain. Dominant I oriented. They, yeah, I, I, I agree. I hope they figure out what the what the hole in their strategy is here. I'm sure. I'm Carlton sure John has a lot of ideas. Did not have any respect for Champlain at all. They're just kind of walking all over this. So we'll see. But uh, they okay. Yeah, Carlton's Carlton choosing to go for the break. Carlton definitely now. had a confidence there that uh, they did not have that first map. Hmm. Which is, I'm surprised they had so much considering how how close both map like both. I guess not both, but all the points were. Yeah. That's true. I mean, stands? that's what you... I don't really think we're going to see a full game. Yeah. I think every Might every one of these maps, regardless oh, of, you, you know, I'll try that um, next time. capture style is going to be, you know, hard fought and we're just going to get the full series. Absolutely. We always want as much gameplay as we possibly can. Um, but we're going to... Looks like we're going for the, the Sigma this time with Lucio. See if that allows Champlain to work together a little more here. Sigma with Lucio, pretty standard. Champlain go, trying to get to the high ground here. I like you it. You see that they brought... Oh, great kill on the monkey here. I wonder I wonder what Champlain could have done if they brought out that the Tracer earlier. I felt like Cosmo had a lot of, you know... He, he switched from well, the Sojourn over to the Tracer, and the Tracer had a lot of, you know, endpoint um, value. That's true. I wonder if Carlton will be able to capitalize on that, or if it'll just but kind this, of... Yeah, this fight is crazy. Over. As Champlain gets two ticks, the fight's still going on. The Monkey makes it back, and it's now a matter of fact if who wins this tank brawl again. Monkey's on point. Get the damage out. Emo is forced out I a little early. Mark. The Champlain have no cooldowns right now. It's just too oh. strong. They're just Champlain's just gonna send Carl to pack it. Really good window there. That's a, that's a. And they can fight up here because the the loser payload can fight up here. Move up. Good wall. The universe sings to me. I love it. Oh, I love Sigma. Oh, we love you, Sigma. Um, but yeah, that was a much better paced fight for Champlain. I think the just getting off Brig alone just allows Squid to play so much more. High speed is what seems to be what he likes to be doing as an ex tank player. He likes being mobile, not being stuck in one place. So I'm thinking this is a much, much better pace to keep up for them. Shimmer trying to keep. Oh, big stick coming out. Oh my. Oh. But that's okay. We have a lot of a lot of invincibility cooldowns to burn there. Oh. Oh, I think Carlton is going to lose their tank. Unless I'm just completely wrong. Nah, that's a good nano jump there. Yeah, we they noticed that we didn't have emo anymore and they jumped right in. I mean, that's just a good recognition there. Products. But uh Champlain coming up on a few ults here. Not terrible cart pushing for for this. Um they have 4 minutes. I think that is a full minute more than what Carlson had. The first point? Yeah, that's true. So, it's a good observation. Um let's see cuz Champlain needs hopefully, to kind of keep control yeah, high ground with, with this Champlain comp. Used that to maintain their advantage. Yeah, and Champlain... And we don't just see a stall out, which I think is very common. Oh! Yeah. And this is where we saw Champlain kind of getting faltered um, on map one, where they're playing a comp that really likes to abuse the high grounds, but they just can't get to it because they get cut off yeah, at every rotation. Yeah, exactly. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a team swap after we get these ults down, or how Champlain's going to mitigate this Carlton this looks like they're really good at this... At Focusing single people, even when they're in those kind of big team fights, to just really break apart. Ult popping up, gets a pick on the Ana. This is huge. Forces them, forces Carlton to kind of regroup and force out here. Oh. Another kill on the other support, and Champlain getting a lot of that high ground that they've been so hardly fought it, fighting for. It gets a little cart progress. Let me see uh, Jack enjoying himself on Halo duty. Oh yeah, it's a thankless job. Truly, truly. Oh! Mitsu jumps in. I found that so many cooldowns getting burned here. Really good beat here, actually. I, I like that beat. Um, oh, and Link just got his window up. Wonder how fast he'll be popping that. And probably going oh, down. But Link gets nice caught two. out. He's gone. Link getting caught out with it. But it's not an unwinnable fight here. 
but Champlain do seem to be not move, not moving out yet, but definitely on the back foot here. Carlton has really put a lot of space Trade. between Champlain and the and the Pele. Trading Lucio for a Tracer is not necessarily good. <laughs> we don't. No. We kind of need that now speed with how slow we are to get on that point, unfortunately. Especially with the Sigma still. Oh yeah. But uh, looking at Ulticon, one support ult each. Not nothing really close to the thing. Um, and here comes the window comes out from the side of blank Champlain here. I've heard a, I've heard. Oh good shot. Me, a Ramatra is good against the Sigma. Have I been lied to? Yeah, but Ram Ramatra's not pretty good right now. Oh, he isn't. Oh. Yeah. Um, but especially on this map, you want to play monkey here because just how. Just how huge open it is. Yeah, yeah. Ram has no, not really a lot of self defense power. Looks like Carl Carlton is really, you know, capitalizing on the monkey good at defense. Yeah. And then just big wide open map, so, you know, you can get in, you can get out real quick. Our right, Champlain burning the lamp, but most players are alive here. Still a full team fight. You see, um, Mercy's on the way back, but we're, we're holding down this room for like now. Champlain was finally put oh. able to push the card slightly forward. Oh, the damage to the monkey! Oh, Prama comes out. Ooh. Almost got the gold here. Push yeah. Champlain will be. Oh, wait! The sneaky! He might get this! Oh. oh! Tracer barely getting there in time. I wonder if that was Champlain. No way Champlain planned so that, right? I saw. I saw. I saw Joey just on the point by himself. I'm like, I wonder if Cole Champlain was held up in that room for a while. I guess that wasn't been plans. That was. Oh, There's no junker at so. 40 seconds on the clock left. Champlain only Ooh, have one or two fights here. No, no, no. But we do have almost all five bolts here, so it is winnable. But there's just um, one problem. Not a lot of time. He's fighting on point. Oh. Bolt comes out, gets oh. slapped, and slapped and stunned. Oh no. Oh, you was gonna fall so oh, fast. Oh, but Shaq just says. Don't worry, Mark. I've got you. I just go straight in. Amazing support play from Champlain here, and just and it just clear point. Should be able to close it out. Yeah. Absolutely clutch window there. Honestly, right, they've got a minute and forty seconds. They're probably gonna have at most twenty seconds. It's gonna be tough to to get this get is this it, far. Is it first, is it team with most time or team with less time that gets to go first in OT? Uh, team with more time goes first. And we're gonna see, I mean, Champlain not really good at all in Ulticon here, but honestly not too far behind Carlson. Carlson just has the swapped off monkey. The Ryan Sigma battle begins. Oh boy. And this I is just- Well, we're now in the closed space of Blizzard oh, World. So. I might get caught out, but. A flanking if Mercy Joey, will get ooh, some that damage is done. An more field at a bad time for Joey. Oh my god, we dropped the other tank! But we don't have a main support, so we gotta uh, find the health yeah. back here. And we, we've got, we've got um, our DPS there on May, just kind of stuck out. Yeah. But Champlain could be get a little oh. ground here, as they all stay alive. They just cleverly Blank back out. comes in with all the heals ever needed And ever. getting back in here. Oh my god. So. Champlain may have the opportunity to kick a little space here, and they will try and take that next keep corner. Calm, for keep blanking on. You we to get on. Amazing wall charge here, and a huge slam oh from Mark. This is the kind of speed Mark we like to see from Champlain. The grossest shatter I have seen in forever. That was fat. In an Overwatch game. That was fat. That was. But it's not over yet. 15 I... seconds left on the clock. There's two ultimates on the other side of Raven. And it's gonna be a matter of taking space I mean, and killing the other tank first. It. Oh no. And a huge ult coming out from from Ooh. the other other sojourn and just not enough so juice. So close. Yeah. They got the overtime clock on it though. But And that's a second map for calls in there. I was hopeful after that shatter, but Champlain does not have enough ultimates and resources I, I to deal with the next round of Carl's series. I, I don't wanna see. Did you casters curse us? Is that I hope not. I hope it didn't imprint on me the second I start casting for the first time. You know. That is an uns that is a that is just an unspoken rule. But I'll forgive you. It's your first time. I'm new here. Yeah. And honestly, really dominant echo play. I yeah. Again, the da the damage is just it's a lot so much more coordinated from Carlton. I think if we just get a closed map. And we put Joey or we put Kazuma onto a junk rat. We just win for free. <laughs> the rat. 
The rat. Omega wants to see the rat. Let's get some rats in chat. Rat gang. <laughs> You're the rat. Can we get some ratatouis in the chat? <laughs> rat tattooey. Serve Carlton up on a plate, please. Let's go. Yeah, and we're looking to uh, get right into our next game here, so we're just going to take a quick breather, but then we'll, we'll give you some more Overwatch soon here. So, I don't know. I think I want to see... I don't, it's, it's a tough call. I've already said a lot of... The things that I've already pointed out with the getting cut off at of choke points, um, just less, more coordinated damage on the side of Carlson, I think that's just the few deciding factors that is pivoting this game in the favor of them. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get a clear read of you know how Champlain is going to come back from this, I think. Um, because it looks like Carlton has a really good flexibility in terms of you know swapping between heroes, maintaining you know a consistent level of you know damage output and just value overall from every hero they're playing. Mm. It's not like they have you know a Genji one trick. Um, <laughs> we do have pretty flexible players now, which I appreciate. That used to not be the case. Yeah, I mean, I pretty much a soldier one trick, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is why you're we are not on blue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I play Valorant, guys. <laughs> play, play Valorant, where you were always playing Soldier seventy six. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess pretty so. Much. Yeah, because I've except if you put me on chamber with an op. <laughs> what are you playing then? I don't even know Widow, but I don't know Widow. Widow firing a Widow shot does not point, nearly as satisfying. Widow or it could be Sojourn, really. I guess it's close to Sojourn. I don't know. I don't Less movement than a Sojourn, though. I wish Chamber had a neon slide. Yeah, the neon slide. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Never speak of that again. <laughs> Sliding across on his screen and getting hit by a one shot yep. operator. Oof. Ooh, we're looking to look at uh, New Junk City. <gasps> See? Junkrat. Junk? Oh, junk no. Queen? Junkrat. No, no, no. Please. No. Too much rat. There's too much rat happening. Too much ratting. Too much. Not enough rat. Too, too much junk, not enough rat. Mm-hmm. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with this Flashpoint new game mode, so I really don't know what to expect here. I know it's... uh. It's honestly... Take... It's take control like point, Busan. but with extra points, extra steps. Yeah, take Busan... Make it bigger. Make it like make it one map. Make it bigger, and yeah. then but yeah, make make which make kind of the points just randomized. Yeah. So there's a center point that's always first, and then depending, I haven't played enough to tell you whether or not it's like win or loss based on whether or not the points go to a certain side or if they're right. just RNG based. But you know, five points in total. And then, you know. First to three. Yeah. I also think that in terms of Flashpoint, kind of the, the namesake Flash, um, that the tick rate of kind of the site capture is a lot faster. Mm. So I think it's it's usually, depending on the team comp, one to two fights max per point. Okay. So, you know, and at I worst we'll see three fights. At most we'll see – as many as 10 to 15 per point not per point god no that oh, okay. would take forever <laughs> um overall in terms of the entire i can only imagine how long that overwatch game would be if there was 15 gotcha. fights a, a point but we are loading in the junk city here so let's see what we got and oh this map looks awesome they got like an, a, a battle bot arena in the middle here yeah for these new maps, which are what the first new maps that dropped, what at the start of Overwatch Two, which was like six months ago, so that was like two years since the last map came out. Well, I think Junk City, Junk City is definitely a more recent map. Um, that was ages ago, though. There was only like one or two maps that got released um, on launch? initially on launch. It was like oh, I can't even remember what it was. Are you sure? It was the push map. It was the it was the Canada push map. It's the Canada Toronto. push map. And I think there was like one more, but there was only two maps. Coliseo. Like Coliseo as well. That was because all the push maps Overwatch, That would be Overwatch One. No, I think you're thinking of. What? Are you... 
Anyway. I want to say you're thinking of not Rialto, but similar to Rialto. Getting into the map here, we're running out on the Reinhardt, other teams running out on um, the Sigma. We've seen both these comps before today. We're seeing what looks like a slower comp, but with a faster rollout with Elysios from both sides. Form comes out from Bastion. Champlain have to be very defensive at this point to like Form goes away. And point just unlocks. Point unlocks and Champlain oh, is I mean, already going. I love it. that teleport. Oh, I love oh, that teleport. Oh, come on. Oh, very close timing from Cosmo there. Almost gets taken out. Champlain getting that first point tick, but the Bastion getting two, oh. kit, two picks. Loki Champlain get, returning the favor, and it's now a, an even fight, but Champlain has, has fight control, as well as a bat and Ryan. Yeah, and then the Symmetra is just like locking down point on this, which is really good. You really need to be able to lock down point, and I think Symmetra is a really great pick for this. Well, the teleports are just so good for getting behind him, because Crotic's comp, uh, or, sorry, Carlton's prop wants to poke and prod for a long time, and we were playing Rush. We want to get yeah, we wanna rush fully on them, and the teleports are first that. Oh, what an insane oh. launch there from Bastion. Yeah, that's a good pick. Oh, but the counter pick comes out from Little Lucio. Oh, but Carlton's taking point. So much damage coming out, though, from the Carlton Ravens here. But it's a matter of time if Samplank get on point here. Uh-oh. The sounds. Which comes out. The not sounds not. of horror. Champlain finding a way out and sending that in their own. Champlain getting oh, a first pick is... on their other tank. This is good. Mark has ult. And so far in this game, we've just seen the greatest value out of Mark's slams. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, he can just not even have to use it. it Form comes out. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Joey taking everybody out. And the Cham Champlain fighting together, but not in the same play like spot, is making this very effective for, for, for them. That was like... That was like a 360 degree pinch. That's right. That, that was a just really good pinch. That was beautiful. Champlain get their their, it was their point of fight and precise on level. Big slam coming out from Yuyo. Gets so much damage down. Champlain is also just going into and securing this that first flash point with three ults into next point. And it gets Great. and gets an ult out from Crodix. What? We're like in a bap window to start for next point with the beat. And then we also have what looks like the May ult at half. So it looks like that could be a fight coming. determiner. Yeah, ult econ's looking pretty pretty mid from both sides, but like it's pretty good rotations. And I'm scared of Champlain's what this beat them to the final flash point. Pull once this point opens up and Champlain has to go for the cap. Oh, really good window. Burning that oh, Bastion down in a second. The is gone. Thank God. Champlain is going to go. That's ours. Oh, the cheeky little cement symbol to the wall. Oh, and thing. Jax just goes. Oh. oh, and Champlain really starting to find their footing here. Jack and Mark just dive in on the Sigma, and he is just. He's. He's cooked. He's cooked. He's a Bart. His toes have been crisped. He has um, been barbecued. Barbecued, as they would say. I would have said sashimi if they had a. Um, Ooh, stop talking about food, man. You're going to make me hungry. <laughs> Gotta relax. But, oh, a really good May wall to separate the Ryan from the rest of the crew. The Bastion ult comes out with no no fear for Champlain, but the window Ooh, comes out Mark's as well. Mark's caught out here, though. A oh, but Lang's got to keep him alive. If anybody's got him, Lang's got him. Ah, but he, Mark just Lang's goes right in front of the window and... That's just, that's unlucky because there's but so the many But the huge May freeze! Their own May kind of just screw them up there, but... Gives Champlain a lot of time to work with, Hold but... On. It's not going to look... It's, it's not going to go with well. that one. But that'll give them 90%. This is okay. This is okay. They have 90%. They That's have one fight territory. More than enough time to regroup and get another hit in before that gets anywhere close to like, you know, yeah. 70, 80%. Percent. Maybe two fights if they pick it up here. But they're making a little bit. Well, if they pick it up, they shouldn't need more than one fight. Well, I believe in one fight. Okay. Well, I thought we talked about casters cursing, Jake. I think. <laughs> No, there's nothing you can say here, because <laughs> we, we, we have to hope and pray now. But the TP comes out, gets them an escape out of jail free card here, but the Bastion just knows where they are and takes out Champlain there. Champlain's going to have to uh, reset pretty quick here. 
Oh, and Belus is getting caught out. the enemy to do, okay? Curses are to make them lose. That's what I want. Are you still... I don't think you're learning from what Caster Curse means. I want to break it down. <laughs> I want to destroy this Caster Curse. If there's anything I do with one uh, my one screen, this possible career... Okay, I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to succeed. I believe in Mark. But look what's happening. I believe in Mark. Look what's happening. We I lost the point, I Jake. Blue, Luxy. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't believe in them. I'm just saying we can't make these blanket statements of this is going to happen. X, this is going to happen. I play that's Valor. all I have an ego to uphold. Okay. Well, we know where to blame this loss if something I have happens. Over but uh, confidence. And I believe in Mark. The I believe in Joey. Oh, and the, the I believe in Mark. Blocks the enemy. Ryan Shatter too, and Mark is just laying it down, laying down the law. They're gonna be able to make it there to the next point before the enemy team as they have died. And Champlain should be able to start on this next flash point. I can I can just feel the intensity rising in the building because I hear we're watching blue live and I can hear you know Baja in the back. I oh, yeah. can hear a lot of shot calling coming out from them in the open space. Oh, we got so dueling back windows here. Well. Champlain barely gets the wash point, but Lank falls to a well-placed bastion, bastion round. So many ults coming out. And Champlain just want to stay alive as long as they can to get as much... Oh, or maybe oh. not. Or maybe just do that. Was he going to catch the wall there, or did I'm, he just screw it up? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say he meant to do that. It was a reset call. You've done that twice, though. <laughs> it was a reset call. Um... But yeah. We can talk about the mistakes, Lux. No cat. <laughs> I'm just not entirely sure it was a mistake. All of our players are human. That's true. But uh, looking at the Ulticon, we've got we got Bastional and Beat, but they also have they also have Beat and, and Maywall, Maywall. So it's going to be an interesting fight here. Very important to who gets the first kill. Gets the beat out. Uh, Champlain not in a dangerous way. Gets the counter beat. The Ryan is super overextended here. And Champlain gets that first Ryan kill. Really good ult usage oh, from oh. Champlain here. Oh, and cleaning out that really team good. fight. We've got the... Oh, no. I That's okay. We have, we have that... We have that Bastion ult. But oh, we clean, no, we cleaned this up. We lose one, but we we took down two more. Yeah, but we still have Bounty Cover. That's the issue. That's okay. We killed their Bastion after our, our Bastion died. We're okay. All right. Relax. <laughs> have confidence. <laughs> We're okay. It's melting and building up and melting again. Heads <laughs> of the woes of Overwatch. What a beautiful game. Um, but now it, both fight, both teams are in one-fight one territory, so whoever wins this one will get the get the wash point. Oh, we have we have oh, oh, a really good ah. ults. Ravens don't have an emo point emo to work on. And we have a window up. Oh no! Counter shatter, but it's just not enough. It, it just misses everything. That is an absolute gargantuan shatter from oh, Chronix there. Oh, that doesn't go at all. That will merit in the flashpoint. I'm really That's in okay. pain from watching just the ults go out and not no value. That was like a four-man shatter at least. Yuio either had no shield or was not expecting. I just don't think they were expecting it because I, I feel like Blue thought that with the, the May wall that there would be enough utility from Carlton on cooldown that they could just walk on them. But Carlton said, actually, Reinhardt. Um, yeah. No, they, Blue the aggressive. To, Blue didn't know how to respond. Yeah, it's the kind of aggressive hard to respond when the, all yeah. on the ground. This is the first time we're seeing the uh, the Carlton Reinhardt today. Or actually, we've seen it once before on, on the yeah, second point. Yeah, but they have been dominating with other tanks like Winston and JQ, so... Yeah. So we got, we're in full, full brawl mode, but uh, Champlain have only a male to work with here, and Raven's coming up with all three, so okay. Champlain need to win this, get the first pick or something here. Do you know how much value you get out of a male? Oh, we got some pension coming in, but... Male, just... I have never seen a male not get one. We flipped the point. Ooh, oh, oh, it's okay. We, have, we got a, we got at least one more fight here. 
Let's see if we can say. Oh, it's oh, I'm just, it's just gets so tight. We got we got some ults out. We got the bastion ult. We got the bad window out from them. So we'll have to we'll have some chance to uh some chance to get our own our own ult, ult ups here. Not looking terrible. Still still very much more. We're close to a beat. I have hope for the beat saving everything. Yes yes yes. Oh, but the counter. Oh, oh, but oh, oh my god. is separated. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And we're trying best I can to help him out. Oh, and a oh, huge. Oh. oh! Can't play can really have this. Good beat. Yeah, the other yeah, line yeah. is very low. But they're caught oh, behind the main wall. Oh. oh no. Joey's getting caught out. Joey's getting caught out. He's gone. And it's just oh. over. Wow. And that's a that's a GG's. That was three over a flash. That I there were so many split second moments in that last fight where Champlain's gonna win. Carlton's gonna win. Champlain's gonna win. But they come out on top with another fat chat from, from Grotix there. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Carlton's win. I think I think we can use Ryan and, and they just hit at least four people with every chatter they had, which is just That's how it goes sometimes. That's just what you hope to not see though. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Always rooting for, for Champlain. Um but we will be uh, taking a little break, we will be getting an interview for us, but it's just, um, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching those games with us, and um, I think we'll we'll throw it to a break pretty pretty short here. So yeah. yeah, any any final inputs from you, Mr. Omega? I'd really like to get this interview in, really see what the players are thinking. Yeah, you know, as a less experienced person, I always value people with a lot of experience, and I think our team is gonna, you know provide us with you know a very good reason very wise words from you omega um and yeah we'll be back with you uh, with an interview soon um stay tuned
Welcome back, Champlain. I am joined with Mr. John Player. John Haas, how are uh, you? I'm uh, been better. All right. Yeah. It's, I mean, of course, a bit of a rough one today, but, you know, nothing we can't take away and learn from and, and do better. But at the end of first map, it was it was a really good back and forth. We took one point on, on Busan. Yeah. And then they took one, and then, you know, it, it fell out. But from that point, did you think that what was going through your mind after that first map loss? I think nothing good. I think that there was a bit of a negative. I don't know. I feel like losing Busan, maybe in the way that we did, maybe because we feel like we shouldn't have lost Busan, any of those points on Busan. I feel like there was a, a negative snowball that probably happened there. Yeah. Cause that, 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 that didn't help us. There's really good individual plays from all the players today, of course. Yui yeah, in particular, I think, had a lot of like li like starring shining moments, but of course there's a, there's always the the back and forth with he's doing really well so he thinks he can get cocky and over overextend sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if <laughs> if that was something that you noticed as well. I uh I don't know. Um I don't know. I think frankly it was a little bit of the opposite. Okay. I feel like that there was a lot of, uh, you know, overthinking probably in comms. More stuff than we, you know, more of a thinking than we needed to do. Mm. Kind of slowed ourselves down and we kind of, we gave up some stuff for free. We didn't do as much as we probably should have done in the time that we had to do it. So, like, yeah, I feel like there was a bit of overthinking. Moving a little bit too slowly because our minds weren't in the game and kind of in like the plan, which is, yeah, it's not great as a coach to say because <laughs> I mean, it just happens sometimes, you know. Yeah. But there are some really good like points from today, lots of really high, like high octane gameplay. It's like even the last map, uh, Junker City, there was a time where our brawl was looking so dominant where we got that, yeah. that first doubt point. So, what do you think clicked in that moment to allow Champlain to just kind of run with it for a little bit? Um, I mean, we know how we know how to play the game, so like there'll be instances when we, you know, especially in like, you know, when there's no ults in play and it's like a neutral fight. That's what we call it. Like we know how to play the game. We know the macro basically. We know how to we know how to win these fights. I think what really bought what really got to us is like once you know, the ults got into the the, the planning, and it became more of like a, a momentum game. Mm. You know, stopping their momentum and continuing ours. I think that's really what hurt us the most. I think we, I think, I think we thought too much when we should have just been maybe rolling a bit more. Gotcha. Uh, that's probably an easy way to put it. We kind of, we kind of, yeah, overthinking. So you know, when we came out and it was like we knew what we're doing. We know the basic objectives. We've done it a lot. The plan is simple. I think we did just fine. But as soon as there was any degree of you know, pre-fight complication. We got a little bit uh, flustered. Yeah, that's you know, in the game of Overwatch chess. It's <laughs> and everyone's so smart in the team. Everyone has ideas. It's easy. sometimes you just get bogged down. You know. Yeah, I guess that's that's probably. But yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, a lot of a lot of. I mean, more 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 uh, cluttered communication than I would have liked than we would have liked. But gotcha. So things to work on for the future, right? And improve on. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you know, we're in a good space to focus on that. But of course, because how many we'll how many games? I'm not I'm not following the team as as closely as I should be. But mm -hmm. how many games we have left in the season? Oh, that uh, that's <laughs> that's the last game of the season. That's done. We're done now. Yeah, that was so that was uh, okay. uh, that was we were we were into the finals and that was score finals. Yeah, we, we just got knocked out. It's all right. You see, that's 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 what I thought. I just wanted to make sure yeah <laughs> i'm, so, I'm yep. sorry about that no worries you're good yeah but um yeah yeah we just got knocked out that stings a bit in the fashion that it happened we just uh we did a warm-up scrim before this and uh against the good team that we scrimmed before and we 3 0 them and it's a shame that when we get into match um we get 3 0 ourselves yeah, i don't know it's tough because a lot of i mean a lot of what a lot of what that stuff is is I don't know it's it's not it's not the technical know how that we're lacking, you know it's it's uh absolutely not it's like a mental thing, yeah, 
Yeah, it's a shame because you know I you know putting a lot of work in recently. It's a shame. That, it's a shame that we're getting. Uh, no, absolutely. We're but slowing you, ourselves down. You guys got like very far in the season, honestly. Um, yeah. So be proud of yourselves. Yeah. Of course. And we'll. Uh, I'm hoping there's a lot of stuff cooking for next semester. Yeah, yeah, we should be all right. Should be okay if we can get the if we can get the uh, you know the official match. You know, mentality figured out. We should. Uh, That'll be good. Should probably win. <laughs> That's right. You know, but uh, went out. We'll see what we'll see what happens. See what we can do. And of course, we'll uh, we'll be back next semester. But that ends it for Overwatch now. Any concluding thoughts from you, Mr. Player? Uh thanks for watching. Um, thank our our under team is next, Baja. So uh, if you want to stick around, uh, I'm sure they'll do a great job. Um, the team lives on. Yeah, we'll see you next semester, I guess. Thank you, Champlain. And uh, have a good Thanksgiving break, everyone. And that, we're signing off for now. Adios.